time flies when you're having fun or when you put me on double time. I can't listen to any of my lectures unless they're on double time. Um, sometimes mitosis goes bad. And it's not that it doesn't happen. That's, that's a thing. A failure to grow, that's, that's a thing. But that's not mitosis gone bad. When mitosis goes bad, it divides like mad. So there are actually checkpoints in the cell cycle. And this visual right here is um, showing you where they are. There are checkpoints that say, okay, for real, are you really, are you serious about going through mitosis and is everything in line? Because if you replicate cells that are missing DNA, that have mutations, or you replicate when you're not supposed to, disease results. And that's what cancer is. Cancer is a failure to accurately or correctly regulate the cell cycle. And you end up with too many cells. Cancer cells don't follow the rules of the cell cycle and they don't follow the checkpoints. Something falls apart. Cancer therapies are looking at, okay, what is that checkpoint? What actually is going on in that checkpoint and why did it break is there a way is there something we can do a drug we can give a cell oh my gosh there's immune therapies for cancer that is that are so interesting can we can we put something in that will fix the malfunctioning checkpoint because if if you don't, if these checkpoints don't work, then you end up with cells going through mitosis when they shouldn't, and you end up with lumps of things that are where they shouldn't be. So this, as we've done every single lecture for this whole class, everything is much more complex than we talk about in here. And that's awesome and we're glad and we're actually also glad that we don't talk about it in all the complexity because don't you feel like holy cow this is enough <laughs> like this is we've got plenty to deal with here but the details of these checkpoints are definitely a place of hot research i said it in the beginning i'm going to say it again before you tackle the meiosis lecture, which is the next one, um, dig in. Make sure you're super comfortable with mitosis. Make sure you've taken good notes. Make sure you understand the process. Make sure that you can talk about it in a way that, you know, it's quick and, and you got it. Because then meiosis will be tweaking, will tweak the process of mitosis to understand meiosis and your task will, your learning will be much more efficient. I'm a huge fan of efficiency clowns because none of us, nobody has enough time for any of this. And so we need to be as efficient as possible in our learning. Um, and I'm, I try really hard to give you hints so that you can make your studying and your time as efficient as possible because I know that you don't have much. Okay, super think y'all are rad even though you're not right here to hear me say that. Okay, good night.